Welcome to Shift by Bacardi. Hey everybody, it's Cindy Lam from The Cold Room and El Pequeño here in La Belle Province, Montreal, Quebec. So I'm super excited to check into my shift today. I've been behind the bar again. By bar, I mean my dining room table, which is kind of like my bar at home. So I just want to give a huge shout out for you guys who are tuning in today. It means so much to me and also a huge shout out to Bacardi for taking care of us bartenders during this very strange time. So it's Friday, you know what that means? It is the end of a long week, but it is a perfect time to listen to some great music, get into a comfy spot, enjoy a really great cocktail. So that's what I'm gonna do for you today. I'm going to be making you guys a great cocktail. I'm gonna show you how to roll it as well as play some of my favorite music. So you're gonna hear a little bit of music, some great beats, and learn how to roll a cocktail. As I gather my ingredients for my lovely cocktail that I'm making today, which I call a vita con sangrita, because I'm going to play you a song, so I'm playing you a beat. Get it? A vita? Yeah? Okay, I know, my jokes are terrible. My key player today is this beautiful Puchon Añejo tequila, and I'm using this because it has really nice caramel and smoke notes that you'll get, so it's going to be wonderful. I'm going to kick it off with one of my favorite songs to kick me out for the weekend. It's called Lost by Frank Ocean. So, you know, it's got that really nice, like, build up, and you know, you're feeling cute. So, let me gather up those ingredients and then we'll get started. Alright, alright, alright. Doesn't it feel like I'm back behind the bar with you guys in front of me? Now, the reason why I'm making a sangria today is I am a huge fan of savory cocktails. So, think Bloody Caesars, Micheladas, Bloody Marys, and sangria, which actually means little blood in Spanish. So, I've got everything from super chill music live. Cradles by Suburban, which you gotta check out these songs, they're amazing. Uh, to twerk worthy, island vibe, booty shaking jammers like Roll In by Spice. To songs that remind me of vacation, like when I went to Nicaragua and I was dancing on the beach with my friends, uh, Dance Monkey, Tones and I. Great songs. I'm gonna show you how to break down this cocktail step by step, track by track. So I've prepared all my ingredients here in front of me. I've got tomato juice, uh, salt and pepper, hot sauce, fresh and sweet lime juice, jalapenos, grapefruit, orange. That's what we're gonna use for now. The beautiful patron will come later. So to start it up, what I'm gonna need to use is uh, two ounces of lime juice. And we're gonna put it all into a pitcher because we're making a nice big batch and then you can use it after. So it's gonna be great for those hot summer days. And I've already pre-measured everything out. So, two ounces of lime juice, six ounces of orange juice. Like I said, I've already measured this out. Another six ounces of grapefruit juice, one teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of pepper, which I've already put together. 15 ounces of tomato juice. And then I've got my beautiful two ounces of tapatio, which is hot sauce, but you can use Valentina, you can use sriracha. And we're gonna put one whole jalapeno that I've had, kept the seeds in. Uh, people, please use gloves when you're cutting jalapenos because you do not want to end up like me earlier. I'm gonna pop that bad boy in. And basically, you want to stir this so that the salt is left and dissolves. And you want to let it sit between 15 to 30 minutes. Here's the thing though the longer you let it sit, the spicier it will be because of the jalapenos. So that's totally up to you. If you don't like spice that much, you can just pop it in, take the jalapenos out right away. Or if you really like it spicy, let it sit longer. So we're gonna let this sit for 15, 20 minutes. All right, so the time has passed and we've let our sangrita sit. So we're gonna take my jigger right here and add four ounces of this beautiful sangrita mix that we just made. And we're gonna put it into our lovely shakers because we today are gonna roll our cocktail. I'm using the Patron Tequila Añejo today. The reason I use this as well is it has really nice pepper notes that come from this, so it's gonna sit really well with the sangrita. To be honest, I'm an avid fan of Patron. I have every single bottle, and if you are a tequila aficionado, this is definitely something you should add to your back bar, 100%. I'm gonna pour out one and a half ounces of tequila. And for you guys at home, again, if you want something a bit lighter, you can use a little bit less tequila. If you want something more of a kick, use more tequila. It's really up to you guys. And we're going to roll our cocktail today. So my song, Rollin' by Spice, is actually perfect for this occasion. So I'm gonna add ice into my shaker right here. Now, the reason why we roll the cocktail is so that we can aerate the cocktail and chill it. It's really great as well for mixing thicker ingredients. So there's actually a reasoning behind it. It's not because bartenders are trying to look cool. 
Now we have that ready, and I'm gonna get my strainer right into my mixer. Now, when you are starting to roll for the first time, it's totally okay for you to keep it nice and close, you don't have to be fancy. So what you wanna do is you wanna pour it right into your cocktail shaker right here, right? And as you get better, or as you practice more and you wanna look cooler, you can go ahead and do it further and further. The trick is you wanna keep an eye on the tin that you're pouring the drink into, right? You'll keep doing that until your cocktail's nice and chill. Today, I'm gonna to pour it into my lovely pollen glass right here. What I use as my rim is a steak spice rim. I just really like it. <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason behind it. I'm gonna go ahead and strain this right into my cocktail glass. There we go. Perfect. So there you go. My cocktail of Vita Con Sanguirica is done. But my favorite mix continues. Uh, I'm ending it off with my song uh, Bandida by Paula Arenas. A very great song to end off the weekend. You guys deserve it. A oh, nice weekend. Enjoy the break. I just want to say thank you so much to Bacardi for letting me do this today. And make sure you guys check the link in the description to get the, to listen to the whole thing. And be sure to check back in tomorrow to see who's on shift. Please come out to Pool Room or El Pequeño once this all gets back to normal. Santé. Enjoy. Have a good weekend. Cheers.